Welcome back to Hearts of Fire in 3. Let's on pause. So we have a string of a first for a first defense here. But it's um still not complete. Actually this northern third here is still missing. I think we have gaps here as well. On the other hand, uh, we might be able to acquire territory here, so maybe it's not yet. Well, let's actually just build it. If we don't need it later, all the better. But I would like to have a second string as well, back here, eventually. The United States of America have decided to embargo Japan. That means they will um, not get any oil from the United States anymore. Argentina wants to trade energy, accept this. And the Republic of Yugoslavia wants uh, rare materials. Accept that, and we'll trade energy with Norway. And uh, last time we decided that we need more troops up here in the north. Thing is, we aren't really building troops at the moment. Um, but we do have a bunch of uh, infantry divisions in under construction here. So why don't we move a couple of those up? I always like to organize my production research queues. Let's see, sonar and protection equipment advance. And the Empire of Japan and has been accepted into the Axis. The Menchang signs the anti convention pact. So does Manchuoko and the Republic of China Nanjing as a result of their puppet master joining the Axis. Seems we are researching sonar and protection equipment ahead of time. Uh, support weapons will go to the top of the queue. And I think we should uh, dedicate some IC now to upgrading, to rolling out the upgrades into our into our army.
we'll dedicate about 30. Uh, 30 IC to this. And we will prioritize units up here. Um, okay, so now we have prioritized the Leningrad Krug. Because we might see some action against Finland uh, sooner or later. Um, maybe. There's no good measurement right now. Let's see. I can't really tell. What would be a good measurement to see? Heavy artillery guns advance, uh, we increase defensiveness, toughness and soft attack for support brigades. And South Africa wants rare materials. Light anti-aircraft armament for uh, surface units, air defense and air attack improved, that's very good. And anti-tank guns infantry is now ahead of time. We are mid 1938 and steadily improving our army. Just committed more IC We're now up to 118. Still building more, of course. Traitors purged, we have lost the effect of traitors purged. Organization minus 50%, land organization minus 35%, officer recruitment minus 50%. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that we lost this effect, but I hope it is. Because it was abysmal for the officer purge. Um, the UK won 17 medal, sure. And Greece wants 17 energy. Uh, 
we have lost all our spies. Germany seems to have killed them off quite um, efficiently. So we're not going to invest in those anymore. Yeah, I think um, we'll uh, let the ones die off that we still have and then see about the rest. Uh, speaking of planes, we finished the planes here, so I have to move up the next one. Can't forget about that. I think we should be building support brigades as well. The Great Purge. The enemies of the workers must be dealt with. Purge the traitors. Gain 12 in unity and lose a couple of... Oh uh, yeah, let's... We are... We do not take lightly people we are trying to sabotage the Soviet leadership, but uh, we have to make sure that we still have leaders here. In all these divisions. Seems we have lost a core leader or we haven't assigned him before. Uh, logistics, sounds good. Leader for the heavy, <coughs> excuse me, leader for the heavy bombers. Um, why not him? Um, okay. Since uh, Mongolia is an ally, we can actually move in. This is uh, Anutuba, and it's one of our puppets. Now we have to detach you. So uh, we still haven't reorganized. <coughs> Excuse me, we still haven't reorganized the Far East. That's a huge mess here.
Traitor's perched. The same effect. I, I don't understand what's going on here. So let's see. We have a bunch of headquarters here. Move them into the city. Move the tanks out. This is an army. The 24th army. I'll move it. Move the army headquarters to the city. I'll detach this. We'll have to make sense here. A bit more than we're currently doing. Anyway, Japan wants to trade supplies, except this Norway wants metal. Okay, and then we have, we'll take these and we'll form a core from those. Okay. Take this score.
what do we have here? Romania, uh, wants 13 energy, Japan wants even more supplies, Portugal wants metal. I think slowly but surely. I'm making sense here, starting to make sense, at least. Metal for Norway, metal for Australia, and rare materials for Colombia. Okay, so we have tanks and infantry here, garrison in the mountains or in the in the hills. going on here. We have an infantry, a weak infantry division here. We'll move this garrison here for the time being. Argentina wants energy, the UK wants metal. And we are improving the morale of our medium bombers and naval bombers and heavy bombers. Okay, and we have the headquarters arriving here. We have Mount Infantry up here. We'll move it south. We have a garrison here. Got a movie across a long time ago. Apparently, I didn't. This is the 14th Army. We'll attach this to the 14th Army. Okay. Attach you.
We have three armies here. This structure is terrible. So we have... I assume this is the Far East Theater. And it consists of all of 36 divisions, but... It's in three army groups and eight armies. We have a terrible OOB here. Japanese are giving territory to Ying Wei, to um, the Republic of China Nanjing. Japan wants crude oil. Sure, why not? We can trade with anybody. Let's uh, accept. Uh, no, actually, we're going to cancel that metal. They are allied with Germany and. They have signed the anti cominter Pact. On the other hand, we're making good money. We are dealing with... Descent. Let's get rid of that Descent real quick. Uh, descent reduces our industrial production. If it's at 3%, uh, it reduces the industrial production by 3%, so unacceptable. Japan wants supplies. How much are we earning with a lot of money? Treaty of Munich. During the summer of 1938, the pro-Nazi elements among the Czech Germans men the right to secede from Czechoslovakia, a move that created enormous tension between Germany and Czechoslovakia. Hitler, using the minority sentiments in the Sudetenland, started to propagandize about Czech atrocities against ethnic Germans in an effort to lay the blame of a future conflict on the Czech government. At the same time as German troops infiltrated the Bohemian borderlands, Hitler agreed to host a peace conference in Munich. Hitler, Chamberlain, Daladier, and Mussolini met and agreed that Hitler should have the Sudetenland of Czechoslovakia. The Czechs, who were not represented at the meeting, realized that their own allies were deserting them, and under the pressure from the French and the British, were forced to surrender the Sudetenland to Germany. Hitler assured those at the meeting that this was the extent of his ambitions for expansion. Chamberlain returned to England with a piece of paper signed by Hitler pro proclaiming peace in our time. They chose protest in the UK. Obviously, they are mad at the, at the British. And the uh, British chose we cannot afford another great war. That will probably come back to bite them. And they're behind. We have 26th army here. Um, this is not 
I'm still not happy with this. Going to disband the 26th army. Uh, Intelligence Network. The matter of intelligence agency has been discussed. Intensely during the week, most members of our government are of the opinion that the scope and power of our existing agencies should be vastly increased. It has also been proposed that we put considerable focus on the establishment of new networks in most of the major countries to ensure that they view us as favorably as they ought to do. For 500 money, we can... and the loss of one in neutrality, we can improve our intelligence network so yeah let's let's do that we can afford it I think we have to move this further east. I think we have to move everything here. Move the whole force further east. And eventually this reorganization will make sense here. Let's on pause again. Norway wants energy. Spain wants metal. Oh, I forgot completely forgot about this. I know not supplies actually. Installation strike doctrine advance, uh, runway cratering efficiency plus 5%, installation strike efficiency plus 5%, and man portable anti tank weapons, improving our hard and piercing attack. Excellent. Uh, Australia wants rare materials, which we're going to accept. And anti tank weapons now ahead of time. Japan wants um, supplies. 
Or do you want to sell us supplies, I guess? Let's see, um, hold on. We're running low on supplies. Uh, crude oil, yes. Let's see, are we exporting supplies? No, we're not. I think we need more, more supplies. Oil storing problems. We'll soon have finished more ports. More IC, we're up to 119 now. Very good, we're selling more energy. Hydro morale is improved with the ground crew training advance and small arms advance that improves soft attack for pretty much all our non-armored units. Five metal for Columbia and small arms is ahead of time. Security training is ahead of time. Where your engine is advanced, more speed and more range, and an increase in escort efficiency. So let's see. We're improving the infantry. Good. Um, 12 metal for Portugal. I'll accept that. And supplies from Greece. Absolutely. <clears throat> and the uh, need for for upgrades is slowly coming down. Energy for Latvia and energy for Sweden. Supplies from Japan, yes please, and from Greece.
slowly making more sense here. These tank divisions aren't exactly what I envisioned. Nuclear physics advance. And we have research supply organization. Excellent. Hydro materials for Spain and supply organization is ahead of time. So let's get rid of it. I think we should research these absolutely. Combat radius. Organization for support brigades, absolutely. Now we haven't built any any radar stations, so we'll probably not do that. Uh, Greece wants uh, supplies again. This is a infantry division, and it will go here. And we will move the next one into the production queue. Government communizes private sector. The party announced today that a major factory that previously was in private hands is now property of the people and the government will take direct control of it. Uh, plus 5% in IC to the descent and some part uses a bit of organization that's fine by me. Let's um, deal with the descent quickly. Started to redistribution of old use weapons. We gain a research point somewhere in land doctrines, I believe. We'll have a backstabber. I will pick him here. Hopefully we can get rid of this eventually. 
Our unity is up to 67%. Uh, we want to advance to great power. We need 76 more IC and 3 more ships. Let's actually build IC and ships. And we heavy industry emphasis is already the best. War economy. I don't think we can improve it by any of that by increasing our unity further. I don't think there is anything we can improve here. Spain wants rare materials. Japan uh, wants to sell us supplies, yes please. First parachute brigade will soon be finished. And we have improved central air command structure, logistical bombing, runway cratering, and insulation strike, as well as interdiction will be improved. And the 33rd army has arrived. Norway wants supplies and we have reduced the supply transfer cost. Mexico wants rare materials, we're going to accept this. Then we have a whole bunch of infantry divisions that just arrived over here. And now finally we have better organization here. Um, we we'll deploy these troops over here, mountain troops. And supply transportation is now ahead of time. Australia wants metal, and Brazil wants energy. Building supply brigades. And we can upgrade the next fighter squadron to heavy fighters. We've improved the 
toughness of a whole bunch of uh, non-armored units. Denmark wants supplies. Japan wants to sell supplies. Romania wants to buy energy and Yugoslavia wants to buy energy as well. And defensive support weapons is now ahead of time. We still have a lot of research projects. And we have units to deploy. There's paratrooper brigade. Set them down in Moscow. And I think we should reuse the next one right away. Infantry support tank armor advance, um, that's mechanized infantry. Loses a bit of speed, but uh, improves all the other parameters. And metal for Netherlands. Absolutely. Are there any decisions we can take? Sino Soviet non aggression pact. The Empire of Japan, one of our most threatening rivals, they did a, started a war of aggression against the Republic of China. It would be beneficial for us if it these two would fight a long, tiring war, weakening each other. For this to happen, we should declare our neutrality in their conflict by signing a non-aggression pact with China. We will do so, absolutely. Negotiate with investors. Oh uh, yeah, sure. So this is a nice thing about uh, HPP. You can negotiate with investors. It costs you uh, 500 uh, units of money and um, they will approach you with different uh, ideas uh, sometimes they will improve your industry or um, research uh, infrastructure all sorts of things so we have an investment opportunity here the government was approached today by a group of bankers factory owners and other investors with a brilliant plan uh, for 500 money we can Improve our IC by 10% until November 4, 1939. That's an excellent idea. We'll absolutely do that. That should give us an additional 12.4 IC. Let's see if this actually works. It seems so. Excellent. Denmark wants 12 energy. Chile wants rare materials.
and Ataturk died, the leader of the Turks. Let's take a look at the Japanese advances in China. Yeah, they're going to cut their territory in half. There's only one uh, province left here. And the People's Republic has lost about two-thirds of their territory. So they're not going to last much longer. South Africa would like some crude oil. We'll accept this. And we have units to deploy. Support brigades. Um, I think we have the 20th Donbass uh, Mountain Division. Uh, maybe it's easier if we do it this way. And then we have the 16 NKVD Mountain Division. And we should be building more of those. Now let's build a mechanized one. And another horse towed one. And metal for Netherlands and four for Colombia. By all means, let's see, uh, we need a one here, here, two, infantry brigade, Norway wants to sell supplies, absolutely. Japan. We'll soon deploy more IC. <clears throat> Which is just music to my ears. Rare materials here. Except this.
trade offer from Bulgaria for supplies and Finland would like some metal. Um, no, maybe not. And metal for the Netherlands, absolutely. Right, so we were also aware that uh, we have built more submarines. We'll add this to the production queue. We're gonna move up to the uh, our our, in, our international status. Brazil wants to buy energy, Portugal wants to buy rare materials, and the Greek probably wants to sell supply. What's the problem with Greeks? Keep offering this trade, but... Okay. Spain wants metal. So it seems we are increasing our Port, uh, port levels here. Uh, let's add Mediki Luki. And we have units to deploy. Namely an infantry division. And actually, these uh, divisions were produced for the uh, reserve army. But uh, since we probably need them sooner in Finland, I've actually decided to add them over there. and pause again. <clears throat> the submarines have now a range of 3,000 kilometers. I'm pretty sure that's up. Supplies from Japan. I would like to not use full guard commanders. It 
if at all possible. And we need to reinforce these divisions. I need two more brigades each. Anti energy for Belgium and metal for Persia. Portugal buys energy and Finland still wants metal, but um, doesn't feel right somehow. And I think with this it's time to end the episode. I uh, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.